Hey everybody and welcome to Open Bomb Change Management. In the next few minutes, I'd like to take you through the three key important aspects of change management in Open Bomb. And they are uh, number one, Open Bomb records all the history of your changes. Number two, that Open Bomb manages revisions, and we'll see how that works. And number three, that revisions may or may not be forced through an approval process where you can capture a, a workflow and manage changes, change requests, in other words, for an item or change order, sort of batches of changes. And again, we're, we're gonna see how that works here in just a moment. So let's go ahead and get started. Like everything else, I'm going to do this live and I'm going to start with you know, some of my favorite uh, sample data here, which is the, uh, uh, the wireless router. So I'm gonna kind of zoom in on this, um, on this, the base here on the wireless router. I'm gonna take a look at some changes that I've kind of that I have in flight on that right now. So let me go ahead and get started by just opening up uh, that items catalog, and we're gonna take a look at the the base. So I'm I, as part of a change that I'm making here. I'm going to be changing a couple of items: this base and this uh, and and this stamping here. It, might think about maybe we're adding some grooves or making some other changes to these two components as part of a larger change. So let's take a look first at this base. I can see that there are that there's some change history. This base has some revisions already in place. There's also been some uh, requests <clears throat> recently that were either approved or rejected, and I can look at those here. But I see that I have one change to a Rev D currently in flight. But I'd like to know a little bit about more about the A, B, and the C. So I can uh, pop out that revisions tab there and I can see that the revision history for this part number, the dash 30 here. And let's take a look what's on this because it's very important. Revisions can have different property values here. You can see that as I've gone through A, B, and C, I've done a little, there's been some cost adjustments. You can also see here at the Rev C that I've added a specification document that's going to be tracked along with this item. And documents that are attached to revisions are also revisioned themselves. So here you can see I have revision C of the specification base. And let's pay attention to that because in the moment we'll incorporate the Rev D and we'll see how that, how that updates. So, so it's important to note, so there, there's our change history. Okay, so let's go back and take a look at, uh, at something else that I'm going to be, another item I'm going to be making a change to, the, the stamping here. You can see I've got a Rev C and a pending on that. Let's see what that change was about. I'm going to go ahead and click on that and I can see that, oh, it looks like I'm just correcting a typo, changing a previous price from $99 to, to 99 cents and that will be incorporated uh, in the Rev D, you know, when I, when I approve that. So, so, okay, so I've got a couple of changes ready to go on the base and on the stamping and the best way to manage those I, in the, my example here is I'm going to run those through a change order so I can batch them together. And we can see that I've created a change order here, change order number 27, and it has two items on it, that, the two items that we were just looking at. And I can drill down into those and, and look at those more closely like, like we just did. But I think what I, want, what I want to do now is I want to take a look at what the sign-off workflow will be to approve this change or this group of changes. I'm looking now at the change order and I can see that Sue in my organization has already accepted those two changes and that I'm the only uh, required pending acceptance. So I'm gonna go ahead and accept those and then I'm gonna approve that change. I get a little notice that those two parts are going to go through a life cycle. Now let's go back now and take a look and see what has happened to our two, uh, to our two change candidates. So here's our base. Let's take a look at those items. Ah, I see, okay, I now have a Rev D that was incorporated. Let's take a look at the, at the change history on that now. And we'll see that whereas before we had A, B, C, and D, or A, B, and C, now we have all four changes. And more importantly, if I want to take a look at that specification that went along with this, I see that now that spec document is now at the Rev D. So um, again, an important aspect of Open Bomb change management change management is we not only manage the item changes, but those uh, component, uh, those specifications that are linked to it at their specific revisions. So to summarize, 
I'd like to I'd like to say that we took a look at you know ch uh, history, change requests, and change orders. And there's a lot more information available here, of course, at help.openbomb.com. Uh, and we'd love to hear from you at support at openbomb.com. Thanks.